October kicked off with the retirement event of ex Sekiwake Kaisei, the highest ranked Brazilian ever. It wasn't open to the public, hence I do not have the footage, but 340 invited guests paid to take a snip at his sumo top knot. Several of his family also made the 30 hour trip from Brazil. The final cut was delivered by his mentor and current boss, Coach Asakayama, at whose retirement event he himself played a starring role in 2012. When my hair was snipped by those who've supported me all of these years, so many memories flooded back, the gentle giant said. Given all the preparation involved, it's great we got through this safely and soundly. The merger of his Tomozuna stable with Oshima stable in 2012, and subsequent demise of the historic Tomozuna name, caused no small amount of friction, which still exists today. That's why he moved to Asakayama this June, and asked Tomozuna's most recent legend to do the final honours. As a coach, Kaisei says, I desire to be not only strict, but also someone for youngsters to lean on. And he hopes to deliver Asakayama Stable the next Brazilian star. Now that famed tabloid Post 7 has filled in the gaps around the second most senior referee's departure. Kimura Tamajiro, it seems, deeply resented nine years of non-promotion due to events outside his control. Namely, the constant stumbles of his senior colleague, which kept him from the highest rank and thereby held back everyone else. I stress, despite his in-ring struggles, the new Shonosuke is widely liked as a person. You'll struggle to find a more affable sumo guy, so I'm told. His sympathy vote has been boosted by the fact his health is failing. But Tamajiro has grown too tired of sumo contradictions, it seems. For decades, he was told seniority determined referee rank. In recent years, he's been told that's not so. Performance is also now assessed. Decisions, voice projection, sumo calligraphy skill, and training of juniors. But not to the extent, he sadly found out, of allowing the number two referee to leapfrog the number one. Furthermore, instead of finally getting promoted to the coveted Inosuke rank, he was told his performance would be compared to those of three other senior refs before a decision was made. Another contradiction, it seems. At almost 63 years of age, Tamajiro has put sanity first and backed away from the stressful mess. Meanwhile, the former Yutakayama has politely lashed out at Twitterati, who've been critical of his moustache and beard. To those of you who say it's unkempt and filthy, thank you for your comments, he began. But come on, turn over a new leaf, just as I have done. That's the thrill of leaving the ring behind, changing my views from those of my wrestling days. And boy, am I looking forward to 2024. Yutaka's gym seems to be doing all right. He's got a half marathon coming up. And he's promoting sport in his native Niigata, more than his critics seem to be doing. Finally, Atami Fuji was impressed by the number of new fans who turned out to greet him at a Sunday Red Feather charity event, but he's still not over his playoff defeat. I want to train yet harder from now on, he has vowed.